Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pichapati and in this video, I will be talking about how to use lookup activity in Azure Data Factory. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, Python and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started. So before going to the video, I will tell you the step which I'm going to perform today and we will know what does lookup activity in ADF. So let me open my notepad and here I have written the, the definition of lookup activity is that lookup, lookup activity can read the data from a variety of database and file based source. You can find the list of all the possible data sources here. Okay, so like, you know, we can use blob we can use uh, gen2 we can we can use gen1 database snowflake everything we can use it in this in this activity okay now lookup activity can work in two modes singleton mode and array mode singleton mode means produce first row of the related data set suppose suppose we have this data set okay this we have this uh, csv file and i want to retrieve only the date only the only the column name okay so we can use this lookup activity suppose you want to perform you want to check whether whether this file this file has has a proper has proper schema or not then you can you can use this maybe we have a different activity called get data meta data activity also to check it but see we can use this okay and if i go back to my notepad the second mode is array mode that is produce the entire data set so what does it mean suppose you want to you want to suppose we have this uh, this csv file and this is the header name and this is the file name okay sorry this is the header name and this is the data also now i want to retrieve these data testing.csv testing underscore two dot csv and so on and we want to check whether uh, the proper you know we want to check whether this name uh, we, we want to use this name testing.csv in some other pipeline okay then we can use then we can use this lookup activity so let's go to the portal and do some practical so that we will understand more let me go back to my portal and here if you see in the source container i have uploaded this testing underscore metadata.csv and here let me use my lookup activity let me go above and in the settings section you can see i have to choose a data set i will choose this data set i i created this in the previous videos if you haven't watched that videos you can you know go and watch the playlist then you will understand more here i have to pass the container before going to that let me open this let me change my link service now you can see we have this data set dot container and here i have to pass i have to pass my blob name so that is testing underscore meta data dot csv that is fine and everything is correct only i mentioned first row as header so we can we can remove this we'll check it later on Let's go back and first row only. Okay. First row only. You can also uncheck this. And recursively, okay, let it be. And now try to run this. Okay. Here I have to pass my container name that is source and let me debug it now. It is running it passed so if i click on this output button then you can see then you can see we have this uh, you know we have the file name testing.csv testing underscore two dot csv testing underscore four dot csv and so on everything we have it in one in one uh, one loop or one array okay that means we have checked the array mode produce the entire data set now we want to produce first row of the related data set so how would we do that it's very simple go back to this 
check first row only this option when we checked it and when we debug it then you can see we will get only first first header first row that is what that is file name okay i want to check only this okay what if if i go to this data set and if i check this method this option first row as null we'll see we will run it and let me go back to this testing underscore metadata dot csv and let me edit it and i will just put one thing here let me put some null mm, okay not null uh, suppose let me put here something uh, a b c okay a b c let me put it let me save it it is done and if i open this output then you can see first row is file name is equal to testing dot csv because what what happened actually since i already changed this setting okay first row as header and then again i i choose this first row only okay first row only so it is it is taking first row first row is this testing dot csv it is not taking file name because it act as a header first okay now let me go back and now the thing is i want to see i want to check uh, whether this blob has some value has some value abc or not okay abc or not if we found abc value that means our data is wrong okay and then we do not copy the data we will check it first okay abc is found it means something wrong happened so what we will do what we will do is that uh is that let me uncheck this and let me run this it is taking some time okay let it be it is in progress now if i go to this output option now you can see we have file name abc okay now the question is now you now my question is i want to check whether this column has abc or not if this column has abc that means the source data is wrong now and we do not want to run our copy activity suppose we have a copy activity present here and it is attached to this now if abc found i do not want to copy the entire data set into our layer so how would you do that so this thing i will tell you in next video upcoming video and i hope you will understand this concept and you understood this the, this concept and i hope uh, whenever i upload video on this you will understand and it is very tricky part not tricky part i will give you the hint uh, is that you can see we want to retrieve this these things and we want to use if else condition and we will we will check whether file name is, is equal to abc or not we will use here for loop and yeah for loop only we will use and then we will use if else condition okay so that's it for today video i hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share